How's it going? Planning out a few spuds and different brassicas and some garlic around the patch today. I just realised, as I was robbing some compost from this pile behind me, that I haven't actually done a clip on it. Um, this is a compost pile we started back in November. I posted a couple of photos on um, G Plus and on Facebook when at the time. It's basically made up of weed trees from around the yard. We've got a stand of Chinese elm that runs down one fence line down the back. I pretty much will just trim that right back and run it through the mulcher. And some of that was used in this compost heap. It was about November, about five months ago. Um, it cooked for about the first, or was, it was cooked for the first week and a half, two weeks. It was really hot, got over 60 degrees centigrade, well over. Um, and then it cooled down after a couple of weeks and it's pretty much all just been slowly composting ever since. About two months into it, I introduced a whole heap of red wrigglers when I did one of the harvests from one of the worm farms. I think it was one of the bathtubs, I'm not too sure. It might have been one of the barrels. I threw a handful of them in there and they kick-started the second part of the process, which is basically the slow composting part. Um, there's a lot of um, stalk and stem from the Chinese elm went in there, so I wanted a, a chance for it all to break down as much as it could, like previous composts have for us, and they turned out fantastic. So the worms have been in there, they've been doing their thing, and I thought I'd just bring you along and show you what it looks like now about five months after it was put down. So that's what the compost heap looks like now. All it basically is is a cage from an IBC with some shade cloth wrapped around the inside and zip tied on. Um, that allows air to flow through to help feed the bacteria and the microbes and the worms and also stops it from accumulating too much moisture in there and it's free draining. It was built basically by putting a layer of Chinese elm mulched up, then loosen, horse manure, Chinese elm, horse manure, loosen, all the way up, a couple of garden scraps thrown in there as well, until it sat about 20 centimetres, or about um, 8 inches above the top rim, and it's broken down, um, slowly decomposed, down to about a third of the volume. So it's, it's really broken down well. The cage i'm actually going to modify that a bit but i'll do another um, clip on that uh, it's worked fantastically but as you can see the compost is way down the bottom so i've got to go in over the top and try and dig it out or pull the cage off and it's just going to spill everywhere all over the ground so i'm opting for the first option i'm just going to try and dig it out from the top using long handled shovels and we'll get to it that way um yeah so i suppose i'll give you a look at this compost just over the top of the cage, I just had some of the shake cloth just to stop things flying out and also, you know, help the moisture stay in there to begin with. Um, as you can see, we've been adding to it over the, over the months as well. We've got some um, newspaper from the chicken's pen, uh, just from their nesting box, and as you can see, there's worms in it, they love a bit of newspaper. Aloe vera, uh, Bianca broke up an aloe vera plant and most of this stuff was dried out and looking very dead. She threw it in here, we've had a good amount of rain and a lot of us come back to life so we might pull some of them out. Um, tea bags that have come from the inside compost. Um, yeah, so we've just been throwing bits and pieces on top. I'll just pull this back, there we go, an old succulent's even in there. Um, we've also got a couple of slaters in here as well. Uh, where are we? See if we can catch one. Here we go. Got a couple of these little guys, little slaters. I have seen um, Blake Kirby mentioned, and he's got a clip showing where these guys have absolutely decimated his seedlings. Um, I'm hoping there's enough dead matter and vegetable matter in the um, gardens that they're going to eat that, not our seedlings. But there are a lot of them in here. A bit of coffee there where I've thrown it in in a lump. Um, as I haven't turned this, um, yeah, you're getting clumps and bits and pieces here. But pulling back the coffee, I found one, two, I won't count them. A whole heap of worms just digging through this coffee here so they're definitely in there and they seem to be very happy I'll pull out some of this compost it's actually more like castings now than compost this stuff is absolutely fantastic it's nice and light I can't feel any um, bits of the timber um, bits of there's a compost worm or two down in there as well I can't actually feel any bits of the the branches that we've gone through we'll have a bit of a deeper dig if I can reach over Oh, right down in the middle of it here. I've probably squashed a few worms. This stuff is looking fantastic. There's a few bits of branches there. There's a little bit there and there's a bit there. So I might have just been on the wrong layer. But this stuff is looking awesome. You wouldn't know that was horse manure and, and Chinese elm a couple of months ago, that's for sure. To me, um, this is oh, a whole heap of worms over here. <laughs> 
whole mass of them all around a, a corn cob. So it's actually um, made me think about the way I worm farm and thinking that maybe I'm better off just worm farming in bulk like this, setting up um, big containers, throwing in the horse manure, uh, a couple of handful of worms, and just letting it go over a couple of months' time. There you go, we've also got beetle larvae in here as well. Um, these guys also break down matter, uh, vegetable matter. They'll, um, they'll eat it and poop it out the other side. They're not like the curl grubs you get in the lawn that eat the roots of your plants. These guys just eat decomposing matter and the chickens then eat them so it's a nice cycle so yeah i'm i'm really really happy i'm really really chuffed um been looking for some worm eggs i can't seem to see any around oh hang on there we go We're right on top there there's a little worm egg there so these guys are breeding in here there's a pigeon pea that shot pigeon pea scraps have gone in here as well i think we've got another worm egg yep there's another little worm egg down in there as well. So just down in there. So these guys are definitely breeding in here. I'm really chuffed about that. So a couple more worms. So they're definitely happy. It's part of the beauty of gardening in the subtropics. We get to um, pretty much all garden all year round. And these worms will be happy outside here all year round as well. So just had a bit of a dig right down the side here. And there's actually very, very little separating the mesh from the compost there's probably about an inch an inch of this almost broken down um, loosened hay between the outside and the compost on the inside so yeah the same there as well very very little um, nice and dry and then you've got this nice moist layer on the inside so I'm really impressed with that so there you go there's a bit of a quick look at what's turned into a bit of a slow compost heap slash worm farm as it turns out so mighty impressed with what i've seen in there um, i didn't expect the worms to do quite as well as they have but they, they've definitely done an excellent job um, uh, that stuff's going to be so rich the plants are going to love it the next thing on the agenda will be the mango tree it needs a trim back so it'll be the bulk of the green matter that'll be going into the next farm along with a couple of Chinese elms down the side. I've got some loosen um, out the front, some loosen hay left over from the old hay bale beds, and I need to nick out and grab some more horse manure for the next lot as well. So I don't know if it'll be set up in this position, but definitely will be set up soon after looking at that. Also going to alter the cage a bit, but I might show you that at a later date. So yeah, mighty impressed. Um, and as I said, it's actually got me thinking that maybe this is a better way to farm worms out here. We'll just wait and see how the next lot go over winter. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a look. Um, I'll pretty much we'll leave it there. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, have a great one and catch you later.